Good morning! This is Angela Toma with Dogwood Paper Arts. And this is my squeaky chair that I'm sitting in. So, oh look, oh, my long gray hairs fell out. Whew. Glad it wasn't the last one. <laughs> no, really, I have hair. <laughs> um, so I have, this is on the Channel Challenge Journal. And I have separated each of the signatures into piles. I am going to add to each one one of my funky, noisy art papers. And then I am going to add some of my digitals to it. Now I printed these out on a linen paper. And they printed out fine. It's um, kind of a cream color linen. So I'm going to put one of those in each signature. And finally got my printer working again. Yay! So those are going to get added to each of these signatures. Now, where are we in these signatures, you ask? Well, <laughs> we're making the ephemera. I like to get my file, uh, my signatures kind of made first, and then I like to put them into the the uh, the book cover. For the book cover, we are going to use this, and we are going to cover it with. With, 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 with this. So I'm probably going to iron this to this with like a thermal lamb or something like that so that it will stick together permanently. And then it will be a nice soft cover journal. Now, I was going to make a boho journal. And I'll tell you what, it just didn't go that way at all. It just went colorful and um, I don't know it just went colorful like a like you know like it should have gone I guess <laughs> so that's uh, where we're headed right now I mean it could always take another turn but um, when it was color makes me happy I'll tell you I, I orig originally thought boho and then I thought no ho no ho as I got started, it just started becoming what it wants to be. So I always try to listen to that little voice in my head and um, follow what it wants to do. I don't know why, but anyway, I no matter how hard I tried, I could not boho it. So eventually, I'm going to boho. We're going to boho. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. And okay, so I have my oatmeal packs to make my two envelopes for this signature. We have already made this cute little envelope and we'll tuck something into it. Um, some ephemera of some kind, maybe a little note that says hello. And then we have this little notepad with the little hidden pocket back here. And inside, I did finish the signatures, um, putting the paper on them. And this is kind of the way I have it lined up. So we have to size this page, of course. Onion skin, typewriter paper, one of the prints, uh, papers that Carol sent, uh, an old catalog, and there we are at the center, and in the center of this one goes this one. Now this is the one we worked on yesterday, and I hadn't cut it. Well, it actually ends up fitting almost perfectly. 
Um, I don't really care if they stick out a little bit. That is not going to bother me in the least. Um, if we need to trim it, we trim it and then we just re-glue these sides. So, we need to stuff it with one of these. And I think we will maybe stuff it right here. And then this one, it's got to go in here. And it is actually, let's, um, let's cut it down. And, 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 and. So we're going to cut it down right about there. <laughs> Wait about there. Let me set my timer. We have this extra little piece here. And this is going to go where? I don't know. I think I want to put it right after this one. See how pretty that turned out? It's just absolutely beautiful. So it's going to go right about in here. And then we are going to hold it up a little bit in here. Maybe a little bit further. It can be a little bit shorter. Like this. And then we are going to get, because this is kind of a um, painty, waxy, um, it's not really waxy. Uh, kind of a painty one. And it is um, type, uh, typewriter paper. Oh my goodness. It is not typewriter paper. It is tracing paper. We're going to use our Fabri-Tac on it. Once I find my words, we are going to be okay. It's okay, Angela. Okay, so there's that one. Now, I've tried to glue these two together, so let's get them separated. And get the glue off of them. Poor onion skin paper. And then let's go to the back. And let's do that again. And we'll fold it in just a little further. That way if we have to cut anything off, we don't have to cut this one off. But these are nice crunchy papers. Oh, they sound so pretty. When sound is pretty. It's not just the sound of the breeze or the trees. It's the sound of the paper and it makes. So now we have some nice little tuck spots here. Let's make sure there's no glue down there or sticking this to that. Okay, so now we have that one done. We just have to stuff it. And now that brings us to this page. So the first thing we need to do is to cut it down to size. So I'm using the top sheet to do that. And I think what we will do is tear off one edge. Drum roll, please. I think we'll tear it off close to the musical lines there. Ta-da! Let's measure it again. And we see that it needs to be right about there. Just give it a little thumb mark. Right about there. And I'll throw those in my container that has all my Oh, pieces in it that say, hey, make something out of me. And then, I don't remember where it was in here. Oh, no. I think it was right here.
doesn't really matter. I mean, they're all gonna, going to go into the thing at some point. Now we can do the same way with these and fold them up. But I think more what we'll do is um, probably fold them up maybe to give them added strength on the edge. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, f going to fold it in past my paper line, line just a little bit. And then I want to double fold this. It's just because the music sheets are so fabulously um, weak, I guess you could say. When they age, they just seem like they get weaker and weaker. So I am going to try to strengthen up this edge a little bit just by adding some glue and some folds. Let me take this out of there and move that over there. Okay, now I want to fold it up one more time. And that way, if I want to attach anything to this, like um, lace or ribbon or whatever, I'll be able to do that without it um, crumbling the page. So we'll turn this one the same, the same width. And then we'll fold this one in. And then we will go like this and like this and that. And a little bit more up here. Okay, so now that page and that other side of the page are both done now, except for we need to treat the center line with some washi. So let me get some wider washi tape. I have some really nice wide stuff, but it might not go with it as well. But I do have some black that would give it, um, kind of go with the music sheets. I don't think I have any musical ones. Oh, hey, here's a pretty one. It may not come apart. We'll see. Some. Oh, it's the stamp one. It won't come apart. They are really awful. It would be nice if it would come apart. Because they're really cool. Oh, see how they do? But, it'd be good on the side. Let's just add it. Why not? It'll look good on the music sheet. You know how I love to add little strips. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? That is cool. So they're really worthless as pulling them off of here, but <laughs> what was I thinking when I bought them? I should have known it would do that. I mean, good heavens, they're all cut. And it's because of the way they're cut that they don't want to come out of the, off of the uh, tape, tape roll. Yep, 
and then they start tearing again. So as you can see, they aren't too much fun to work with. But if I can get a little use out of them, well, then I won't feel like I spent all my money wrong. And let's see. Let's go over to here. to get to the store and get some more um, oh, some more flower towels I am out 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 I don't know if they'd have any in our little spy mart here in town oh I think they did have them before I just don't remember it's <laughs> It's been a long time since I had to buy any because I usually just buy them in bulk form when I buy them because I know that all I use them in the art room. Okay, so there we have um, a couple of stamps on there. And let's see. Washi tape. So I have this washi tape. It's really nice and wide. See that? Um, does it need to be that wide? Let's see. It doesn't really, but it doesn't hurt either. But, I don't know. I think we might go a little smaller. So we'll cut it right about there. And we need it to go from there to here. Yeah, probably right about here. And I'm going to try and tear it on one edge so it has a torn edge. We love our torn edges. There we go. And this is on a stickery thing, so I'm going to try and pull that off of there. I'm going to grunge it up a little bit. You can see I went back to my grunge and I'm using my color now in the papers. Not in these. These are all very light, of course. Very beigey. Beigey browns, beigey browns. You guys must think I'm nuts. Oh my goodness. Well, it's okay. I won't be nuts for long. Just part time. No, really, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not nuts at all. I'm going to start it with some glue on it. Right about there. And now I kind of have a line of where I need to go with the rest of my glue. And of course, I'm putting it on as crooked as I can. And then we're going to put this one on this side. Voila! So we'll start it right with this one. And is it as wide? 
No. It's going to go here. To there that I know of. Oh, sorry. That was a big noise. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Step right up. You're the next contestant. Okay, so I didn't wrap that around, so I hope it'll be okay. Scissors. Now one thing I can see that it wants to do is tear right there. So let's get a hold of those stamps and let's apply this over the edge of the paper, right there, just like this. Perfect. That's kind of a neat thing about that stamp washi, I guess. I guess I've found a use for it, finally. Um, being able to just tear it and use the little pieces on the paper actually is not bad. Glue off. Okay, before I start wrinkling that all up, I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to quit flopping it over on its own glue <laughs> and messing it up. So there we go. Another page done. Set that one aside. Okay, so that gives us this one we need to do something with on the inside here. And I think we will. I think we'll first start here. And jazz up the spine a little bit. And then, what should we do? Um, maybe, 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 I'll give it some torn book edge there. I don't want to make it so you can really read the words because I don't know what's on this this book. But we'll mix some other language with it. Okay. Going to glue that one down. So I filled all my glues yesterday. Wow, that was something. You know, it's funny. You try to force yourself into making something. Um, and it just keeps keeps um, turning you back to a different direction and it's kind of odd because you're like well I, I really want to go this way with this project well sometimes the projects just say no no we're not doing it we're not doing it and that's kind of what this one has done with me it's just kind of basically said no. No, no, no. And so it's like, okay, fine. You know, you finally just kind of give in. 
but it's hard when you don't want to let go because I really did want to make a boho journal and uh, I just I've been wanting to make one for a long time and maybe it's because I'm I'm not sure about the boho journals. I'm not sure. I need to learn more about them, I think. And maybe watch a few more videos. And learn a little bit more about a boho journal. Because all the ones I've seen are really, really pretty. And uh, I think Carol made one. I know Gail has made one. And they've always been so awesome. You know, and I didn't feel like mine was going awesome. I don't know where I thought it was going, but it just didn't feel right to me. So that's what happened to it. But what I was saying was that it's odd when you start some projects like this that you have full intention of going one direction with them and, and they're, they just take you where they want to go. And I have learned over the years of crafting that if you don't listen to that little voice, sometimes things just don't work out. And, you know, you, you can't keep fighting it. So I guess what I'm doing on this page is decorating it with Sears and Roebuck. <laughs> and then we'll add something else to it. So I went to Pink Monarch because she is part of a collaboration. Um, let's see, what is it? Hashtag JJ. Junk journal, tips, tricks, hacks. Tips, tricks, hacks. And um, I saw hers and Tina's, and then I went and started to watch a couple more of them today. It's a collaboration between several um, artists, journal artists, and... Um, Oops. Anyway, if you watch Shabby Dabby Doodah, she has a really excellent video on um, on uh, you know quicker ways to make junk journals, and I was just like. Now, why had that not occurred to me that that's, you know, I mean, I mean, I guess it did. The way she does her mass makes and stuff. It's very cool. And uh, so anyway, very interesting. I really enjoyed uh, all their videos. But I also wanted to say on Pink Monarch, she did some pockets and she is offering some freebies to go with her setup. They won't be available for very long and they're on her Facebook page. So I went and did that and I finally got my printer running again, uh, figured out what was wrong with it. And so, I went and bought some of her prints too at her Etsy site because I felt kind of guilty about just getting freebies, you know, but I shouldn't. She was offering them and I watched their video and was impressed and enjoyed it and thought, well, I got to make some of those pockets to put in my idea book. So, um, but anyway. I did. I went and bought some. But they're so pretty. So, I'm just kind of putting this around the edge, I think. I think. And then, I think we'll put a writing page on it. Oops.
see. I think the writing page is going to go right down through here. So I guess that line's okay on there. But I'm going to take it off anyway. So, anyway, it was really interesting to listen to Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah and hear how she, um, you know, how her mask making has made her junk journaling life so much easier. And I really like the idea of, of how she put it. It made so much sense. <laughs> well, I don't know, you know, sometimes things like that just don't make sense. And, and you know, when you're just watching a, a small piece of it. But then you you hear her, how she's talking about it and how, it, how organized she really is with all of it. And you're like, oh, wow, that is so cool. So, anyway... That's my, that's my info and I'm, oh, I'm sticking to it. I'm going to tear this one. Where? Right about there. felt good to kind of get cleaned up yesterday and get these signatures organized a bit. I um, was so disorganized with them, it was confusing. And I had so many things out. And it was like, oh, Ange, put some of this away. You're just making... Because I still had all the boho that I had out. And so as you know, that wasn't working for me. So... Anyway, felt good to put things away and be a little more organized. I'm just going to overlap those. It's not the right piece for there, but it fits. Okay, I'm going to put this one. Isn't this a beautiful color on this paper, this old paper? Thank you, Josephine, for sending it my way. Bunions and warts. Everybody wants to read about their bunions and warts and how to get rid of them. Handy pocket. Oh, gosh. I'm going to put Mr. Handy Pocket, or Miss Handy Pocket, right down here. And looks like I might need another one. Kidney cure. Tablet remedies. Get the cure. They had cures for everything, didn't they? No, I'm not going to go that way. Go the... Gonna let it hang over a little bit there. So I'm not filling in that very tiny center part because I don't need to. Because we are going to um, put a journaling spot in there. Um, I need to put this up here, I think. No, not that one. I think this one. Excuse my head if it gets in the way. Oh, 
oh diarrhea <laughs> we don't need diarrhea on there that makes our tummies feel bad <laughs> don't want to subconsciously give <laughs> There. We don't want any subconscious things going there. Uh, subliminal, I guess it's called. No subliminal messages for that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Going to just stick that in there. Um, writing page. And... We do want to kind of clip that a little bit. It really wouldn't hurt to just fold it over. Well, no, I don't like to fold it over. Wrong, wrong fold over. If it was a little wider, yeah, it would work. Am I working too slow? Do you guys need me to speed up or what? I always feel like I'm in slow motion. Um, so, a piece of writing paper. Um, there's some tea dyes. That work. I don't like that. I do not like that. I do have this really crunchy one that I uh, coffee dyed. Let's use it. going to go right about here. I guess I have glued a piece of paper. There we go. Let's unglue it. Okay. And we're just going to put it right in here. Just a nice little writing place. It's really hard to know, you know, how fast you're going because you're kind of thinking and thinking and thinking and <laughs> trying to do and do and do. And I'm always afraid I'm just so slow and that I'm making people bored. Don't get bored. Ooh. That looks good. I like it. And we need another one of those. Right about and we'll make it a little bigger. Not a lot, but a little. Gosh, somebody's mowing their lawn. It is a beautiful day. We had rain the other day, and I thought, well, we're probably on our on the road to rain forever now until June. But it's a beautiful day. The roofer came by and dropped off the samples of the roof colors that they can get right now, and of course it. I don't want anything outlandish or anything up there. So, 
it happens that he'll have my roof I need and it will be started very soon. I can't wait. I have wanted to replace the roof now for a couple of years and we just haven't been able to get it done with, you know, when we got first ready, COVID struck. And so couldn't get anybody out then. So wish I had an addition put on so I could roof that too. I'm working on my hubby, but it hasn't worked yet. Then I think, well, I'm at that age. Why would I want an addition now? <laughs> okay. So we have this beauty out here, and we're going to grunge it up. And we will decorate it later when we come back and do some book decorating. Oh gosh, we only have about 15 minutes left. I think I better pop these up to an hour so we can get done. Okay. There is our next page. Right there. I think we can bend this one now. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's so strong it won't even bend. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah, I like it. Okay, it doesn't matter if it goes left or right or whatever. Okay. Um, this one will probably have to be strengthened up a bit too. Um, I don't like what's on this one. I better read them first. Yeah, I don't like that at all. It's kind of not right. Um, kind of not right. What's this one? Here's a World Atlas. How about this? What a map is. How to use a map. What scale means. Plan of Pleasantville School. Oh, I like that. Symbols, contours. I like the symbols. There, we're going to use that instead. That other one was, I didn't like it. I did not. So, as you can see, when I folded this page, it broke a little bit. So it will, is another one that's going to need some washi tape. So that'll go in there. Actually, it matches quite nicely, doesn't it? And let's see. Oh, that one we're going to have to strengthen up too. Oops. Upside down. Let's see how it looks now. Yeah, look at that. Fix it up. This one doesn't really matter, but we might want a little stamp piece to come first. And this one's got to go that way. Separate, my friends. Okay, that's the replacement page. There we go. And this one, I'm going to flip this way. Does it matter? 
It doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. All right. Well, we didn't get a whole lot done, did we? Oh my goodness. We did do something, though. Let's put this back in the box over there. I'm going to have to cover that page up and um, so I don't grab it to use it. Okay, so um, our envelopes and we've done this one. It can go slip it in the book. This one is done. Slip it in the book. So we have our sack and our big envelope. And on the sack, we want to take this part off. Let's see. Let's see how we're going to do it. Got some good real estate right there. We want to poke these sides out. And make our sack pocket a little wider, don't we? And then... That one... I'm going to cut it off a little bit. Oh, I'm going to cut it. Nope. There we go. Sorry, got to get that in your way to get it out of your way. Okay, so this is going to go in the center. And it will be like this. And then, of course, we will cover it. So we have that. Now, this one. Hmm. I have a nice window pocket in there. It will be a uh, sideways tuck in there with the window pocket there showing. So I'm going to cut the bottom off. Right about here. And look, that gives us another little pocket to put in there. And what I want to do here is fold this in just a little bit. Just making it so the pocket is a little more expandable. Come on. And then I'm going to cut that side. So it matches that side because we've completely changed this envelope's life plan. There we go. And we're going to take this piece and glue it on the inside. Just makes a little bigger, a smaller, but an envelope that opens all the way. Ooh, I forgot to tuck that piece in. Oh well, we'll tuck it under. There we go. So now we have a nice little window envelope. And we need to decide about this side. Are we going to leave this on it 
so it opens and closes. No, I think we're going to cut it down. I think we'll cut it down to, I don't know, somewhere in there. I'm going to slip it up to that end because Yeah, well that didn't leave too much of a little divot there, but that makes a perfect pocket, a uh, side tuck with the window. It's a side tuck with the window, and let's see, um, and then we have this one if we want to use it, or it can be made into a corner tuck, a corner marker. Just by cutting an edge off. Then you can put it up here as a, put a cluster on it. So we might have a cluster there. And here, if we seal the top of that one, we'll have another cluster that looks like that one. Cool, huh? Okay, so we do have some cluster areas. Oh, we're making more work. Um, I would like this cluster maybe a little bit smaller. So maybe... more like that. Yeah, more like that. Okay. Let's see. We want to use some more of this. On our envelope. Um, we will ink up the edge when we get done here. Oh, you know, I should have done the inside edge. Just going to be folding this over to the back if I need to. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> She's in her nightgown. Um, let's give her some color here. Oh, which one do I have? Oh, I have the, the honeybee one. Okay, so let's add the honeybee paper right here. It's okay if it has a straight edge. Add a little bit of color there on the edge. Oh, edge. 
<laughs> I'm wrinkling it all up, you guys. And a bit right there. And I think we'll put this little piece right here. Why not? Our timer is going to ring. Better go to there because I need to cover up that little place right there. So this will make a very nice um, tuck pocket, a side tuck in there. Okay, now we have this that I tried to scrape all up and ruin. And oh, there's our timer. So before I let you go, before I let you go, don't you want to know, babe? Where we're going to go. I'm going to apply this. To this piece. Maybe. If it comes off of there. I wish that they came off easier. You know, they've always been a little bit difficult to uh, get them to release. No, I don't need this part here. It can stay here because I'm going to cover up that side anyway. Oh, that one released easy. I only want the parts that are going to be on the window. Mm, got a little too much of that one, but that's okay. Let's see. Sometimes you can kind of help them along. <laughs> And sometimes they'll tell you no and come off anyway. So we'll leave that there and we will just put paper around it. Ooh. Or perhaps it will become the paper. Yes, yes, yes. And then this piece.
Oh, I like it. Do a do. So now we only have to cover that part of the envelope. The rest of it looks pretty good. Don't think we need to do much to it. So that's all we need to finish up on it. And then it'll make a really neat pocket. I have some of these somewhere. You know, if I had some that we could use, that my, a lot of mine, um, I, they're so old that they they don't work. But um, if they worked, it would be kind of cool to decorate the whole envelope with one, with one of them, wouldn't it? Except for the part that, you know, has the business name on it or something. So, let's give this lady a stove to work at. No, we're not giving her a stove to work at. Poor woman. Why would we want her to be working over this hot stove? Because she wants a new range. That's why. Oh my goodness, no. Okay. We will start with this when we come back. And we will get it all fixed up. I like that right there though. Before I let you go, we're going to put this down. It's funny how you come in some days and you just want to work with the old catalogs or a certain paper. <laughs> and today I just want to use this catalog. I don't know. I bought a new Christmas one. It's not new. I mean, it's a new reproduction of a Sears and Roebuck. And oh my gosh, my husband was like, I want to look at that before <laughs> before you cut, start cutting it up. I said, I know, it's so cool. Okay, you know, I like that. Let's just uh, grunge it up a little bit. And we're going to call that one good. Why not? Look at that. I mean, that is awesome. We just need to put an inside in it. Which could be this. And then we could put a uh, thing of a bumblebee in there. A little bumble hiney. <laughs> la, 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 la. I just keep stalling you so you will stay with me. Stop with the musicals, Ange. I can't, I can't. I finally got to watch all of Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> I don't listen to musicals very often. But I have always wanted to see the whole thing of it. And I never I never had. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's glued together. A little too big. Anyway. I just thought it was a good show. So it was one musical that I, I did like. Look, I'm glued down right there. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay. We'll put that in there. And then maybe we'll put a bee in here. Something nature-y. How's that sound? I feel better if I finish this while you're here. Because otherwise I'm going to walk in and just work on it. And then you're going to come back and you're going to say, Wait a minute. You said. And I'm going to say yes. 
and I forgot, and I worked on it by myself without you, but I didn't mean to, but it is what happened. Now, I know my glue went out too far, so I better sop that up with my fingers. And so there we go. So this is pretty cool. I like this. In fact, I love it. Other than these ladies in their nightgowns, um, I could have picked something a little different for there. But I didn't know at the time I was thinking about putting a bee in there. Um, anyway, I like that it's a grunged up envelope and you can tell it's an envelope. And that it just has this additional, um, uh, what do you call these? Anyway, this one's called Barefoot Friend. And uh, you just uh, apply them with, by rubbing them down with the stick. And they come off there and voila, there you go. So that'll be an additional pocket inside of the journal like this. In fact, this is a nice place for it because it kind of matches. Um, you've got the hexagons over here and then over here you've got another shape of the flowers. So it's kind of like, wow. But it could go. Um, here as well, and it matches very well here with the colors. So I think that's where it will go. All right. Oh, hang on. I got one more thing for it that I know right where it's at. I have these little bees. See? Little beehive. And inside is a little bee. So we'll have that little bee in there too. Cool. Okay, I'm going to let you go and I will see you tomorrow. And ooh, hopefully I will um, go ahead and do the other envelope while you're gone and show it to you. And I will go ahead and do the other center page while you're gone and show it to you. You don't need to see duplicates, right? Right. And I'll go ahead and make the other little notebooks, and I will show them to you. All right. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a great day, and um, enjoy the sunshine if you have it. Love the rain if you have it. And carry on with your journal making. And and, and everything else. Bye.